The nth term of a sequence is un. The sequence is defined by un plus 1 is equal to pun plus q, where p and q are constants. The first two terms of the sequence are given by u1 equals 60 and u2 equals 48. The limit u of un as n tends to infinity is 12. <coughs> Show that p equals 3 quarters and find the value of q. And b, find the value of u3. So let's have a look at this then. So let's put these two pieces of information in first. So u1 and u2. So um, u2 is equal to p u1 plus q. So that tells us then that u2 is 48 is equal to 60 lots of p plus q. And then we're also told that the un tends to 12 as n tends to infinity. So when these terms get, uh, n gets large, these will both approach 12, won't, won't they? So this is equation 1. And we've also got that 12 is equal to 12p plus q, because they both approach 12 as n gets increasingly large. So we can write now, times this by 5, shall we? No, we'll just leave it as is, 12 equals 12p plus q. This is number 2. So it's the same equation here. Now we'll take them away from one another. We'll do 1 minus 2. We'll do it that way around, so we get positives. 48 take 12 is 36. 60 take 12 is 48 p and then the q take the q cancels so that tells us then that p is equal to 36 over the 48 move it down to divide and read from right to left and that's three quarters isn't it and then if p is equal to three quarters we can see that q must equal well it will be 12 minus 12 p looking at two so that is equal to then 12 minus 12 times 3 quarters is just a quarter of 12 which is 3 so p equals 3 quarters q equals 3 so that's part a done find the value of u3 so let's turn our attention to that now we know u2 so u3 so part b u3 is equal to PU2, 3 quarters of U2, plus Q, which is 3. So that's 3 quarters of U2, which is 48, plus 3. So 4 twelves of 48, so there's 12 here. 3 twelves of 36 plus 3 is 39. So U3 is 39.